What's up, everyone? Whoa, 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 Seriously? whoa. Just a little bit too much? Tone it down a little bit. Okay. Just tone it down. A little less energy. Sorry. What's up, everyone? Is that all right? Yeah, that's, that's a little okay. bit better. Okay. What's up, everyone? My name is Ryan from Little King Goods, and today we're going to be doing something completely different. We're going to be going out on the road and visiting somebody at a cool place, so stick around and find out what the heck I'm doing today. That should be a segment, I think. What the heck I'm doing today. We're going with it. What the heck am I doing today? Roll out, let's go! Woo! Today we're on our way to a city called Hamilton. And Hamilton, Ontario is, just think of your worst nightmare times by your worst fear, divided by your sense of knowing that something is wrong times five billion. Almost ran over some guy in the parking lot. <clears throat> Let's get some Timmy's. Hi, how can I help you today? Good morning. Could I please get a uh, croissant breakfast sandwich, the sausage one with a medium double-double? Do you want a hash brown with that? That would be great. Sure, anything else today? That's it. 722. Thank you. So excited. You can tell I don't get out much. I'm way too excited to talk to the people at the drive-thru. <laughs> Did you ever get really impatient through a drive-thru? I get really hangry. Um, I just need food in the morning. I think everybody does, but... Thank you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. You too. We're good. We made it through the drive-thru. Dear God, thank you for this food. It looks delicious. Not nutritious, but there we go. Thank you, God. The first time I, I got here, um, I thought I was gonna get shot, mugged, jumped, tackled, maybe kissed by a homeless man. But uh, we're finally here. I'm, I'm excited, so let's go in and see what we're doing here. All right. <laughs> the suspense is killing me! What's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. So this is Scott Bodily? Yep. I got yeah, it? I pronounced it right, yeah. Did I really? Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Hello. Craig, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Craig? How's it going? Are you whittling, or? I'm fine. I'm just filing the edges of some uh, abrasive water cut uh, brass. Nice. Yeah. Always something amazing going on in the shop, eh? Yes. <laughs> If you haven't already guessed, we're going to be doing some laser cutting today with some leather. Uh, Scott has graciously, uh, you know, allowed me to film him in the process. So I've sent him some vector files, and we're just going to go to town on these things. So appreciate it. If you're in the Hamilton area and Scott doesn't mind you coming by and Craig doesn't mind you coming by, say hi to them. Um, I thought I was going to get shot or mugged outside. <laughs> the first time I was here, I thought, I was, am I in the right spot? <laughs> but no, it's such an awesome place. Thanks guys for having me and uh, 
We'll give you shout outs. We'll give you shout outs. <laughs> All right, guys, just got out of the shop. What a cool experience. Um, I smell like burnt leather, but it's worth it, man. I just love seeing a plan come together. So now we're gonna go back into the shop and get these patches on these hats. Let's do this. All right, so we're finally back in the shop and ready to get these patches on the hat. It feels like it's been a really long day, but magic of video is that you have no idea how much time has gone by. So the patches turned out really cool. Check them out. The precision of laser cut and laser etched. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark around the edges for the stitch line. You can see on this example. Then we're gonna glue them onto the hat so that they hold in place while I stitch them on the machine. And then all there is to do is just photograph them and you know, put them on the website and hope people buy them. <laughs> all right, let's get this done. So one thing that I've learned when sewing patches onto hats is to be very careful of this little lip here. First time I sewed a hat, I actually sewed this lip from this side through here without lifting this up and I sewed right on top of this lip. I mean it doesn't wreck the hat per se, but it's just not done right. So you got to make sure that you lift this out of the way so that you're only sewing on this white part here. When I come to the corner, I like to hand crank and make sure that I land right on the corner of that stitch. Make the stitching look as consistent as possible. Turn the hat, line it up again, and go. And once you get really experienced at doing this, you can go a lot faster. I like to go a stitch at a time because I'm just not super experienced at it. So the slower you go, the better it is for now. Good thing about a speed reducer machine is that your needle can go super slow. And with the needle positioning system, you can literally go a stitch at a time, which is really, really helpful. One good thing about this machine too, it's got that foot pedal to lift the presser foot. Boop, 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 boop. Really, really helpful. I love that. I'm gonna just hand crank this one because I don't wanna mess it up. Go right in the first hole we made. And then I'm gonna hand crank through one, two, three, four, and then back stitch a couple times. One, two, uh, back stitch three times, three. All right, I'm gonna raise the needle up so I don't scratch the hat, push the presser foot, take it out carefully, and boom. It is sewed on, sweet. And there we have it folks, your patch is on the hat. Man. What a fun day that was today. Thank you so much for coming along. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching and following me on Instagram. Man, I just, there's so much thanks coming from this end over here. Now, just gonna shoot some B-roll of these hats in a nicer environment. And uh, yeah, thanks again, guys. Talk to you soon. Woo!